our dear listeners welcome on our video today uh, we are looking at history and government and as you can see and uh, this is paper 2 it has 100 marks and you can see questions uh, here are the questions very many of them and uh, we are going to discuss this paper right away on uh, this video if this is your first time to watch our videos kindly uh, consider subscribing to this channel so that whenever we produce a video like this one youtube will automatically notify you and to the subscribers we really want to thank you guys for the support that you have given us and uh, today we request you one thing kindly like this video and it will be in, it will be recommended to other viewers across the country remember this is the time that uh, students are doing revision uh, once you like uh, this video uh, this video will be introduced or it will be recommended by youtube to other viewers let's go to question number one you are told state one theory that explain how agriculture began uh, the theory that states how agriculture began uh, we have um, the first theory is the fusion theory and the second one is independent theory number two you are told identify methods of irrigation used in ancient Egypt uh, those ones are three we have Shandroff we have basin and we have Kano they are three number question number three name two types of trade we have local trade we have uh, regional trade and we have international trade remember they can bring a question here telling you to state types of trade types of trade types of trade we have currency and butter we go to question number four give one feature of roman roads by three in 300 a.d the roads and uh, foundation foundations of up to one and a half meters deep number two were made with local materials number three was straight and long next were raised high above ground to avoid flooding next they were well drained on each each side next were all weather roads next and bridges and tunnels across rivers and mountains good question number five you're told uh, what was the main contribution of Alexander Graham Bell in the field of communication? And the answer is he, wa he wanted, not he wanted, he invented the telephone. Go to the next one. Next one you are told identify the main source of energy used in early stages of industrial revolution in europe main source of energy that one is coal number seven give two factors that lend to events as an urban center that one cultural activities number two it was a strategically located next it was a commercial uh, center activities next it had security next it was educational center next it end religion, religion, or religion, religi religi religious activities were taking a place there. Next, it was it end some ad administrative activities. And next, it port of events. Go to question number eight. Name the chartered company used in West Africa during the colonial period. That one is Royal Niger Company. Number nine. Why was assimilation failed? In Senegal this question they keep on repeating the policy was expensive number two cultural difference next African chiefs who lost authority objected to the policy next inadequate personnel next French fear and loss of uh, labor next uh, politically the system threatened their status quo next the disregard of African laws we go to number 10 identify two nationalists who fought for independence in Mozambique we have Eduardo Charambo Mondalin 
next Samuel Machel next Joachim Chisano next Alphonse Dalkama go to number 11 mention one factor mention one factor that led to the failure of that plan Russia mobilized our forces faster than expected next German invasion of Belgium was not as fast as anticipated next both sides were more evenly matched than German but while forces two functions of the assembly of League of Nations number one controlled the budget of the organization next admission of new members of the to the organization next appointment of new permanent members next consideration of treaties next supervision next giving approval to at uh, the appointment of the secretary general next appoint appointment of 15 judges of permanent uh, court of international justice number 13 highlight the role played by United States of America USA in ending at the Second World War. USA provided military equipment to Allied forces. Next, she gave financial support to the Allied forces. Next, she provided military personnel to the Allied forces. Next, USA blocked the Panama Canal against the Central Powers. Next, she dropped atomic bomb at Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Name two specialized agencies of United Nations. We have the Na International Labor Organization, ILO. Next, the Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO. Next, United Nations Education, Science and Cultural Organization, UNESCO. Next, World Health Organization, WHO. Next, the World Bank. Next, the International Monetary Fund, IMF. Next, United Nations International Children Emergency Fund. Next, United Nations Environment Programs. Next, International Civil Aviation Organization. Number 15. Give the main reason why Pakistan left Commonwealth Organization in 1972 to protect the recognition of the new state of Bangladesh, formerly Pakistan is by some common world members next state two causes of civil wars in the democratic republic of congo number one i'm a mutiny next ethnic differences next uh, countries economy being in the hands of foreigners number 17 uh, name one body that conducts electoral process in united states of america and that one is united that is uh, the electoral college number two the party national convention you go to section b 45 marks and you are told to answer any three questions here you are supposed to do your selection very wisely the questions that you have answers is the one that you select number 18 five possible solutions for State 5 solution, uh, solutions of food shortage in the third world countries. Number 1, introduce new farming methods. Next, reduce tax on farm input. Next, invest in agriculture and agricultural research. Next, land reclamation. Next, encourage drought resistance crops. Next, encourage family planning. Next, encourage formation of cooperatives. Next, improve storage facilities. Number next, describe the way of life of early human being during the Stone Age period. The period was marked with the emergence of Homo sapiens and Homo sapiens sapiens. This is the late or the new Stone Age period. On terms of tools, man became a very skilled to make her. They made tools known as microliths, small small piece of sharp stone tool, for example, a crescent or a lunet, which end a straight sharp cutting edge and a curved blunted back. Their weapon include stone axe, knives, spears, 
harpoons, wooden bows and sharp stone tipped arrows, hooks, needles and bone fish hooks. Shelter in uh, New Stonehenge, how was he? During uh, this stage, man made uh, permanent houses out of three branches and grass. They used uh, or made some sort of paint to use on their cave painting. We go to the next one. Food and agriculture. Man domesticated and planted animals through though he continued to hunt and gather man changed as from nomadic lifestyle to settled stationary lifestyle or sedentary government due to settled life improved settlement rules and laws were set up as a basis of government some people also specialized in leadership religious activities as well as making crafts religion in a new stonage or was it man man's language and religion beliefs be developed because of depending on natural forces like rain they began to ponder over issues like life and death the evidence is found at Hendrax hill and joro river, uh, river cave where human fossil remains were found buried with items such as tools and seed or food. The practice of burying someone with his possessions implied a belief in life after death. Art and craft in the new stone age, how was it? Human specialized in the crafts such as basketry, pottery, and later smelting, evidence by his horse and carving to the right we go to number 19 identify three characteristics of industrial revolution in britain three characteristics number one use of machines number two use of steam power next and option of factory system number 19b explain six negative effects of transatlantic trade on african communities how did the transatlantic trade affect African communities? Number one, welfare was rev rev revolutionized by the importation of firearms. Next, many African communities were left weak and unable to resist the scramble and the partition of Africa that followed. Next, depopulation as many uh, people were shipped away as slaves and others died. Next, many slaves died before and after reaching America. Next, led to the changes in social roles, separation of families as some of the relatives were sold to slavery. Next, it exposed West Africa to many types of diseases came up following the conditions under which the slaves were captured and kept. Next, it brought about fear and insecurity among the communities. Next, decline of economic and agricultural development in Africa as able-bodied people were sold into slavery. Next, decline of trans-Saharan trade and many trade traders found the transatlantic trade more profitable. Next, uh, property was destroyed and communities raided as communities raided each other for trade items go to the next one name five european powers that colonized africa Two one is britain france germany belgium portugal spain italy number 20b explain five reasons why africans were defeated during chimurenga war why were they defeated disunity among africans and between shona and tebele they fought on different fronts number two the Ndebele social class lacked unity of purpose. The former are aristocrats fought on their own, while the former slaves cla uh, classes chose to even cooperate with British. 
number three british soldiers were well trained as compared to african soldiers next british also got reinforcement from botswana and south africa next the arrest and execution of african leaders like nehanda kegubi and that one demoralized the people next the british and superior weapons and as compared to african inferior weapons next the religion failed to protect them against enemy bullets number 21 outline five grievances by africans against apartheid in south africa africans were not allowed to vote for blacks black representatives in government number two they were pro they were pro prohibited from living in the same urban areas with the whites next they were prohibited in sharing some facilities with the whites next they possessed the, the path they passed laws or the past laws restricted african movement next they were confined into black home homeland reserves next labor law denied them equal equal employment opportunities next, a low quality education next the land acts give white exclusive rights over the land go to number next explain five challenges encountered by nationalists in mozambique this is very common very common you better five challenges encountered by nationalists in Mozambique. African experienced severe shortage of basic needs while in the forest. The government forced forces ensure that food and other supplies do not reach the fight. Number two, the church termed Fulimo as a terrorist organization. Fulimo suffered internal division due to ideological differences and selfish ambition among some of nationalist African elites like Reverend Udia Samang and Lazaro Avandami so Frelimo as a, an instrument of acquiring assets for the selfish benefit next competition from rival movement like the revolutionary committee of Mozambique which broke away from Frelimo in 1965 due to latter lean towards socialism. Next, we are moving on to the next one. The assassination of Frelimo leaders Eduardo Mondelin in the Salaam on great to the nationalist. Next, the brutal. Employed by the Portuguese, we got the next one. After the regime in South Africa, fought nationalists, nationalists in Mozambique since they were a threat to their country. Go to the number section C. This one it has 30 marks, and we don't. So number 22a name three ways in which trained contributed to the rise of asante kingdom in 18th century participation in the trade enabled them to acquire weapons number two wealth from trade boosted the king uh, prestige or the fame next trade land to population increase go to number 22b explain six social aspects of the Asante Kingdom in the pre-colonial period, six social aspects. In other words, we are told to and discuss social organization of Asante Kingdom. The kingdom composed of many communities who spoke the Akan language. Number two, they were organized in families, mainly up of related families. Number three, marriage was exo exogamous. Next inheritance of property was matrilino next the community was bound together by 
the golden stool next the hand an annual festival which was called at Odrida held at Kumasi to honor the ancestors next they were divided into social classes next the king was regarded as the semi-divine or religious leader next they were poly polytheists worshipped many gods next the ancestors mediated between the people and the gods next they believed in a supreme god called nyame 23a give three common features of commonwealth member states they use english as the official language number two recognize the england monarch next have close economic ties next education based on a british system next similar and uh, similar legal system to britain next common military tradition next hold regular conferences next share common democratic institutions based on british system e.g parliament 23 b explain six achievements of economic community of west african states it hand standardized education in the region it has standardized education in the region by use of common exam syllabus number two it has fostered peace through military wing ecomog next it has promoted cultural exchange among its members next it has improved regional transport communication system links next it has improved agriculture through sharing of technological know-how next it has facilitated free movement of the people in the region next it has improved job opportunities in the region next it has promoted the spirit of togetherness in the region next it has promoted cooperation next it has promoted inter-regional trade within the region we go to 24a this is the last number don't get tired and give three ways in which the monarch is important in britain why is the monarch important number one it appoints the archbishops of the church in england number two he or she bestow honor to deserving persons next it is a price it is a symbolic hand of commonwealth next is the commander in chief of the armed forces next represents britain in international forums next assent to bills next give audience to minister to encourage one next summons any uh, summons new parliament next open closes each se session of parliament next he or she approves all appointment to important state offices next he or she pardon convicted offenders next he or she look after foreign policy we go to number 24b this is the last one explain explain six functions of the federal government of the united states of america functions of the federal government of united states of america this also is a very common they keep on repeating number one deals with matters of foreign policy number two settles dispute involving different states of the union number three regulate trade between the nation and foreign countries next it is in charge of the national defense of the country next it establishes it establishes federal courts which and ministers just across the country next collect taxes in various federal states next maintain clear war against the foreign government with the approval of congress next it issues currency and regulates its value next it pays a foreign debts owed to other nations and financial institutions next it enact legislate it enact legislations which govern the federation next and admit new states into 
Federation. Uh, we are through with the video. We thank you for uh, so much for watching. Uh, you, uh, we know that you have benefited a lot out of these questions. It's not a wonder. You might find uh, three or four questions uh, in the paper. Uh, we are predicting that uh, most of these questions that you see here they can appear in your KCSC exam and because you have revised you have no reason uh, for failing and uh, if this is your first time to watch our videos uh, we kindly request you to uh, subscribe to this channel like our videos also you can send this video to other viewers so that whenever uh, this video is recommended to them they can watch and benefit out of this work on this channel we have also uploaded many videos uh, videos that are on revision kcse all the subjects mathematics english kiswahili all the set books we have dealt with them here and whenever you come here for any uh, study or revision uh, lessons you will find it very easy and any subject you will be able to uh, get higher marks and uh, make it yeah, because we are very happy when our students tell us that uh, they have done the KCSE and they end A minus, they end B plus, others end A plane. They tell us in the comment section you can see on the videos that we have uploaded we thank you so much for watching up to this time and uh, if you have not yet subscribed take this time subscribe like this video and we shall meet again in the next video uh, goodbye and have a nice uh, time